Hello underachievers! So today we're going to be reacting to some trans cringe because that's popular and why not? So I actually did a poll on Twitter to decide what today's video was going to be about and the two options were reacting to trans cringe and reacting to transphobia and surprisingly enough 58% of you guys wanted me to react to trans cringe, which is interesting, you know, it's weird that people would rather me react to uh, actual trans people than people who are transphobic, but, you know. But no, I, I do kind of get the appeal of, you know, watching videos of other people and, you know, laughing at how cringy they are. Cause that's just, it's just really, it's really sound, isn't it? No, I'm kidding. To be honest, I, I do understand. I do understand the appeal because sometimes when I'm feeling bad about myself or I'm upset, I will go and look at certain people and just laugh at the fact that I'm not them. So in today's video, reacting to trans cringe. So I know I've said on several occasions that I hate videos like this and they're just bullying and it's just, it's just screwed up that you'd be laughing at children and putting it online. But I'm putting a spin on the video today. I'm gonna be nice, which is a bit of a rare occurrence on YouTube, isn't it? So let's have a look at the old YouTube. I am on a private browser because I don't know what's in my recommended, but it might be something that I don't want you guys to see. So we're on private browser. So. Uh, trans cringe. Here we go. What's going on? Who we got? Got Marla Stewart. We got Rolly. I like Rolly. Rolly's cool. Um, Tumblr's non-binary special snowflakes cringe compilation. Um, yeah. Let's go for that. I don't know what to expect. This is three years old, so it might be a bit outdated. Obviously it is, but we'll, we'll see. There was my little pony. My Little Pony, I think. Today's episode, those were scare quotes, episode is about, um, today's episode is about They have the kind of hair that I want. Like, I want curly hair. I don't want it as long as theirs, um, but so I want- I'm gender queer. Okay. And lately I've been exploring the idea of identifying as trans. And so what I'm starting to discover is that I have more comfort about my- Comfort, security, confidence about my gender, about my identity. Okay. Um, when I'm surrounded by people who are really caring about it. I don't see how this is cringe. This person is just talking about how they're comfortable around people that are caring towards them. Why did, Why would people laugh at that? That's not funny. Like. And who acknowledge it and validate it and accept it. And I have a lot of cisgender friends who are trying, but... Today, I'm here to say, I need you to try harder. Okay. I need you to try harder. Okay, so here's the thing, right? People who are not necessarily amazing at pronouns or, like, new names at first, they think it's unreasonable for you to ask them to, you know, like, be better. It's not unreasonable for someone to ask you, like, hey, you messed up my pronouns a bit. That's fine, I know you didn't mean it, but if you, if you want to try harder, if you want to keep on top of that, that would be great. I don't see how that's unreasonable. If you're transitioning, it's kind of hard to hear the wrong pronouns and to hear the wrong name all day because you've heard that your whole life and asking someone to, you know, try harder is not unreasonable. Like, there's a difference between asking someone to try harder and, like, yelling at them for being bad. Um, it's really important to me because I'm finding that, uh, it's harder for me to navigate my job. Me, 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 the world revolves around me. Right, see, here's the thing. People used to send me hate for making my entire account about myself, which I don't understand because this is my social media. I'm representing myself in a way that I want to put out to the world. This person is talking about themselves. This is obviously them documenting how they feel about their gender identity. Of course, it's going to be about them. Why would they talk about someone else? Or if you're an ally to me or to someone else, um, whoever's watching this, Learn the pronouns. Um, learn the pronouns of your friends and loved ones who are transgender and gender non-conforming. I don't, I don't understand how this is cringy. They're just talking about their experience and how, you know, it sucks to be misgendered repeatedly by people that you love. It's, uh, okay, I'm carrying. Practice. That means when I'm not in the room and you misgender me, catch yourself. Yes, here's the thing, right, so when I first came out, um, well, not when I first came out. When I told people to start using, like, he, him pronouns and Noah, I was terrified that behind closed doors, and when I wasn't there, they'd be referring to me as, like, she, her, and as my birth name. And I, that might have happened. I'm pretty sure it didn't, because my family got really good at it really quick. But that was one big thing that really scared the hell out of me, because I was like, maybe they'll call me he, him, and Noah to my face, but behind closed doors, they're calling me my birth name, and calling me a girl, which sucks. Like, that's horrible to think about. 
And I know it's not something that anybody else other than trans people, I guess, would experience. And that's a very trans, like, exclusive fear. But it is, like, terrifying because, like, imagine people you love just not not being chill with you. I don't know. It, that sucks. Figure out, like, a meme or, I don't know, a mnemonic device. I don't care what it is, but it's on you. Um, it's not on me anymore. I don't want to spend all my time correcting people when they get my gender wrong because it's not my responsibility, it's yours. This is true and not. I know I keep breaking, I keep pausing, but honestly, like, it is terrifying when, like, you, necess you don't necessarily pass as well as you'd like to and there are people that are misgendering you and it is it's terrifying to correct them yourself. Like, it's fine when someone else is just like, no, it's he, it's Noah. But when it's you and when someone's just like, oh, how are you doing, birth name? You can't just be like, oh, actually, uh, Noah. I mean, you can be, but like, that's terrifying. That, that scared the hell out of me. And I've never really, I don't think I've ever corrected anybody. I didn't really get many people making mistakes. But when they did make mistakes, I didn't correct them. I should have done that. You should, you should correct people. Yours. Cis people will apologize for misgendering your dog before they'll apologize for misgendering a trans person. And I was like, that is really f***ed up because that is true. I don't know what else I'm expecting. Maybe it will get cringy, but I didn't find that cringy. They're just documenting their experience. Somebody has obviously gone around searching YouTube for people to like react to that they find cringy, but that's obviously not someone who has like a big like platform. They're just, it's like a, it's like a diary. It's, that's weird. There are way, 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 way more than two genders and everyone is valid and worthy of love. Everyone. For those of you who don't know, the gender binary is the concept or belief that there are only two genders, male and female. Everyone who isn't strictly male or female is non-binary to one extent or another. Whether they're cisgender, agender, bigender, trigender, polygender, gray gender, gender fluid. Okay, so here's the thing. I understand why people would find this cringy. I 100% believe that there are people outside of the gender binary, there are non-binary people. I feel like listing, trying to list every single gender just, just, it doesn't make sense to me because people have so, such different experiences with their gender. Like, I'm a guy, but another guy may have a completely different experience of being a guy, and I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I understand why people find this cringy, and it is a bit unnecessary to, you know, like, list every single gender, but, like, they're just, they're not doing anything wrong. Or any of the many, 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 many more I didn't mention. Okay. Well, I think the cringe part was that they listed different genders. Understandable, but not really that fun. Without further ado, here is how I knew I was trans. I got into dance, um, around... Okay, sorry. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about Milo Stewart. I feel like, politically, I don't agree with them on most things, but I haven't seen them for years. When I say see them, I mean online. I've never seen Milo in real life. I know that they've had, uh, they've started testosterone now. They've transitioned medically, I think. I paused it because they, they were talking about their transition and then they just brought up dance and I found that funny. Around fourth grade, summer of third grade into fourth grade, we were watching two partners, like partner dancing, um, where like there was a guy and a girl and they were doing things and I don't know, it looked cool. The guy did some really awesome spinning thing and I, thought what that was a really bad cut he was doing the dance that he was doing it looked really cool and i wanted to do that and then the teacher said that i couldn't do it because girls have too wide of hips to do the spinny thing that he was doing and i kind of didn't take that in a oh i guess i'm never gonna do that better learn how to do these pretty female things i was like no that's not happening. I'm gonna learn how to do this pretty awesome dude spinny thing. And I was like, huh, well, don't think I'm straight. What? Okay, so no hate to them, but I don't understand. When they said they don't think they're straight, do they mean their hips or their sexuality? Because I don't, okay. I kind of went back and forth on like straight or being a lesbian and Am I bi? Like, what? You know? I think this is just a bit wishy-washy. I... Not just the whole thing. At the time, didn't know what pansexuality was. I didn't really feel like I was straight, and I didn't really feel like I was a lesbian. Um, I remember thinking, like, oh, I'm just, like, a gay guy. Why can't I be a gay guy? 
Yeah, not gonna lie, I relate with that. I mean, well, I don't relate with questioning because I know I've always been into guys, but I never, like, identified with being a straight girl. The thought of that was just like, this is weird. It's weird because I've never wanted, like... I know it's stereotypical, but I've never wanted a guy to, like, look after me and, like, lead me when we dance and, like, you know, be the man of the relationship. That weirded me out. And I know that you can be in a straight relationship and not follow those, like, very rigid stereotypes, but I agree with them... Like, I remember thinking when I identified as a girl, and I didn't even question that because I didn't know you could be trans, I remember being like, why can't I just be a gay guy? Like, I, I, I relate to that. And I probably identified as genderqueer for about a year, and then I just had this epiphany, whoo, you're trans, you're a guy. Um, and then I told people that, and that was cool. And I can't really explain how it came to me. It just kind of was like, yeah, that makes yeah. sense, and I don't know, I've stuck with it See, since. I, I get the cringe about this. I don't even think the cringe about this is the things they're saying, it's just the fact that they're saying it so slowly and so, like, not in an ordered fashion. I don't know, I'm, I'm not even doing, I'm not even, I'm not good at speaking either. Hey everybody, welcome back. This week I'm going to be talking to you about pronouns, sometimes preferred pronouns or preferred gender pronouns or PGPs. Um, Whatever you call them, pronouns are the things we use to refer to people in the third person that aren't their names. They're also often used as the linguistic representation of people's gender identities. So, they're really important. Really, really, really important. So, with that in mind, the first and most important rule regarding pronouns. This person has like animals in the background. Is it like a ferret? Is to respect people's pronouns. Always. There should be no questions, there are no exceptions. If someone says, this is the pronoun I want you to use to refer to me, that is the pronoun you will use to refer to them. I agree with this on the basis that, right, controversial, I guess. Well, not even controversial. The thing is, I am I feel weird about, like, neo-pronouns like Z, Z, Zem. Those, they kind of, like, they don't make sense to me. If someone has them and they want to enforce them, I will try. I will try and do that, but... I don't know, that's just a difficult one for me. Them, period. To do otherwise is offensive and invalidating and humiliating and at best awkward. So, respect people's pronouns. Why is that why is that cringy? I don't understand this. Next one, there's a person with a paperclip in their nose. Uh my pronouns are not preferred. They're not a preference. They are mandatory for interaction with me. I agree with this. So I don't like the term preferred pronouns because they're not preferred pronouns. They're not pronouns that I would prefer for you to use. They're the pronouns that I use. And I, I don't have an issue with this anymore because I don't I don't get misgendered. And if anyone does misgender me, it's obviously like a purpose purposeful attack, which I don't find offensive because you're dumb because I don't look like a girl. Do I don't sound like a girl. And if you call me she her, I'm not gonna get offended because it, it, it's just dumb. But I don't like the idea that pronouns are like preferred because it's not an option. This this person's right. Um, I do not accept expect everyone in the world to understand uh, my identity. I barely understand my identity myself. You don't have to understand someone to respect them or their wishes. So I don't have to understand what it is to be a black person to speak respectfully to black people. Agreed. Weird example there. I'm pretty sure that you can do the same for trans people, specifically non-binary people. Um, we are not new, we are not trendy, we are not interesting or something that you can um, fetishize or try to, you know, just <coughs> some up. It's just off. Just shut the <coughs> up. Change your language. Like, no one is female body. No one is born a girl. No one is... Low battery. Ah! Okay, sorry. Is any of that. Like, we are assigned genders at birth by doctors who look at us and see certain types of genitalia and decide what our identity will be from there on out. That's an act of violence. That should be stopped. Right. So, yeah, I, I, I agree with the pronoun thing. I do not agree that um, assigning someone a gender at birth is an act of violence. It's, it's just a way to identify what genitals they have. And I guess, yeah, it does define how they're brought up. Obviously, it does. Act of violence, no, because the majority of people in the world aren't trans, so don't have a problem with that. That's not my <laughs> fault that that happened. Um, I guess this is... This is me coming out uh, as not a cisgender man, but in fact a non-binary person. Anyone who is non-binary doesn't define as either a man 
or a woman. Great hair. It's somewhere between or outside that gender binary. This can be uh, agender people, multi-gender people, intersex people, uh, androgyne people. Um, the the mention of it, right, here's the thing about intersex, because intersex isn't like a gender identity. Maybe I've misunderstood what they're trying to say, but intersex isn't a gender identity. It's like a biological thing. Okay, it's fine. And I, I, I identify outside of that boundary myself. I'm not exactly sure what yet. Um, somewhere between agender and androgyne. Being a man was, you know, just the norm that was that was placed on me. But in fact, I don't identify with that. I don't identify with a particular gender role at all. What does this mean your sexuality is? Well, I guess the word is gynephilic, in that I'm still attracted to feminine uh, presenting people, or I guess more broadly, women. Interesting thing. I used to think I was non-binary, and I wasn't, and that's fine. It's fine I was wrong. I was just exploring my gender, which is fine, whatever. If you have a problem with that, you're dumb. But it was difficult for me, being non-binary, trying to find a label about, um, of like, my sexuality, because I knew I was only into dudes, but I was also only into dudes with dicks. And I, I used to go, I used to say I was like androsexual, which is probably wrong. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's, it's awkward trying to find a label, but I guess labels, whatever. Um, but if I was a cisgender man, I would be heterosexual. It's not about trying to get attention and it's not just a phase. This is me actually figuring out who I am. How can I help? If you can refer to me using gender neutral pronouns like they and them rather than he and him, I would appreciate that. Look, see, this is, I don't like that people make fun of people like this because they're so polite. This person is so polite. They're just asking for like a basic level of respect and nothing they've said has been like cringy or like dumb. It's just, they're just talking about themselves. I hate, like, I hate stuff like this because I hate this. Although I understand, I still do it to myself. I still uh, misgender. This has two million views. This person, uh, this video has been shown to over two million people. That's so sad. People will literally just be bullied. Okay, whatever. Myself as uh, as him. Sometimes I understand that the transition is difficult, um, but they and them is generally preferred. But I also quite like she and her. Um, they they both honor me. But basically, let's go back to this line. One's male, ten's female, right? Your gender can fit anywhere along this line. So, let's say, um, most cisgendered females are usually around an eight. But that, that's easy enough to understand, isn't it? You can fall anywhere along this line in gender things. You could be sitting on 7.82... I, I don't understand that. If one is male, if, what, if one is man and ten is woman, surely cisgender women that are cisgender women don't have an issue with being women, it would be a 10. Right. 5, if you want, or 2.9873. It's very specific. Basically, it's infinite. There is an infinite amount of genders, which is totally wicked. The only issue I have with this is that there's numbers involved, and I hate numbers. I guess that's it, honestly. Just, just stop. Like, I don't, none of just this is stop. preferred, none of this is opinion, none of, the, it's facts. These are facts that you need to get used to because you share a space with us, you live in the same world as us, we're getting massacred and killed, we're in a state of emergency, the least you could do is not misgender me. How's that sound? It was my so that was a cringe compilation. Uh, I didn't really find much of it cringy. I feel like those people will probably be nice people. Probably nice to just chill and hang out with them. I don't, don't have an issue with any of them. I may not agree with all of what they're saying, but like, doesn't mean they deserve to be like slammed in front of over two million people and just bullied I don't want to read the comments if you guys want to go read the comments and tell me how they are then go and do it But I don't want to do that. It's kind of rude. Well, it's not rude to look at them It's just I don't I don't want to read them. So yeah, that's the video if you want another video like this I can do that if you want. I don't really I don't really mind um, But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it Have a good day. I don't see you later losers Slap slap not for a punch to slap this is a bit